Hello everybody and welcome to another video from a Mac user and today we're going to set up a USB bootable disk for the new operating system from Apple Mac OS Sequoia. So let's get into it. Okay so the first thing we're going to need is a Mac that can actually run the latest operating system so I've got a Mac mini here uh, it's one of the M1 machines uh, 8 gig of RAM but it's perfectly fine for the job it's got uh, Sonoma on it already um, so it's got enough space uh, on the machine to actually run uh, the download and the uh, update from it so what we do is we go to system settings uh, check for software updates in general uh, and as you can see from this one I have got an update for Safari however it's the Sonoma part of the the actual download that I'm going to need and inside my applications folder you can see that the operating system uh, or the installer is not actually downloaded so I'm going to click on the upgrade now click agree put in my password and then go away have a long cup of tea and when I come back, the operating system would have downloaded. So this depends again on your internet speed. So while this is uh, downloaded, I'm going to open a text file and I'm going to open up uh, Terminal as well because I'm going to do exactly like I do with all my other uh, pen stick uh, installers. I'm going to use the uh, Terminal command to actually create the operating system on it. So once I've opened up the terminal command, I've got a text file there which I'll come back to in a minute. I then plug in the USB stick and again this one needs to be at least 32 gig uh, to run the installer. Back in the day we used to have 16 gigs which were fine but uh, the ones I use now is just a standard 32 gig uh, pen stick. They're pretty cheap really to be honest with it and as you can see from disk utility when you open it up it's just formatted to FAT32 which is fine so you don't need to worry too much about uh, formatting the drive the terminal command will do that for you um, and in the search bar I'm just going to look for um, bootable USB for Mac um, because my search engine always has this website it will already uh, be in the listing and I just need to find the latest um, build from the Apple site the first thing I'm going to do is change the name of the actual pen stick otherwise the terminal command won't work so it's always default is my volume and make sure you do it in capitals otherwise it won't work so the M has to be a capital and the V has to be a capital next thing I'm going to do is you'll notice that probably at the moment um, there is no uh, Sequoia download um, terminal command so I'm going to use the Sonoma one and then all I'm going to do is delete the Sonoma text and replace it with the Sequoia naming convention. I am assuming in a few months time Apple will uh, refresh that page and have the proper terminal command in there but uh, when it was released I just uh, changed the name convention and then, I, and then I tested it to see whether it actually did download and install the operating system onto the pen stick which it actually did. I'll leave this information in the descriptions below. So to change the name and convention on the USB stick I just press enter on the pen stick that appears in the desktop and I just um, press return and then command V and command C to um, or you can go into the disk utility so we go into disk utility highlight the pen stick and again the name convention will highlight and from there you can change the name to my volume it's pretty straightforward okay I'll probably fast forward the video uh, while it downloads and then we'll hold it there so what happened is um, Sequoia uh, insisted it needed to be installed so the operating system installed um, and it did a reboot and about 20-30 minutes later um, I had this screen which you can see now so not really sure why because I, I would have assumed that you could have just got away with that uh, without actually downloading and installing the operating system for it but um, I probably wasn't keeping an eye on it when it downloaded it it just literally downloaded and it just installed it without even prompting me anyway it's done now so I'm gonna have to go back into the App Store and then locate the app so uh, Sequoia 
which is pretty much pretty easy to find on the app store at the moment because obviously it's the Apple's new operating system build you click get just like you would do any of the previous ones click download and then it will then go away and download and again I'm not going to force you to watch two hours of it downloading um, my internet was lagging a little bit when I did the second time round on the download but I'll just fast forward that um, so that uh, we can get on to the rest of the uh, task okay so it's downloaded and it's now prompting me that it wants to reinstall the operating system um, onto the Mac Mini which I obviously don't want to and I'm, I'm just going to go to applications to prove that the actual installer is there I can see the installer in the applications folder if I did run that installer it would obviously install and then it would delete the actual installer after the reboot So while we're in here, I'm actually going to show you the package uh, content of Sequoia. So if you right click and then show package content, then go to uh, contents and then scroll down. It's in resources and then you'll see the, uh, the file that's needed uh, to run the USB installer. So it's create install media and that is the file that the terminal command is going to run uh, so that it can get the USB stick um, and put the operating system on it. and that's pretty much what that terminal command does so I'm going to quit the Sequoia prompt up screen I'm going to go to my terminal command I've already named my um, drive I haven't formatted it still in FAT32 but it is called my volume so the terminal command is correct and again, just to confirm that in disk utility, you can still you can see it FAT32. So I've got my uh, notepad file of what I slightly amended, uh, which is just the Sequoia uh, app part of the text. I copy that, place that into terminal, press enter, put in the password, and then it will ask you, do you want to proceed? And make sure you put a capital Y for that. Uh, I have found that if you put a lower Y, it doesn't work. And then the erasing the disk goes away. And on the newer operating systems, it will always prompt you that would you like to allow. So please don't just walk away. You've got to give it a couple of minutes and then click the allow. And then that OS will now transform the pen stick into a bootable stick that you can then install the operating system for. So let's fast forward the video because I'm sure you don't want to wait for the end of the uh, for this to in to install it's going to take um, a quite a while I think I timed it at about around 20 to 30 minutes depending on the speed of the USB stick okay so it's finished download on my video I was a little bit impatient because I assumed that it had actually finished the terminal command and then I I logged into the machine and I then identified the installer which you can see there but you'll notice that it's got a it's greyed out because it hasn't actually finished the terminal command hasn't actually finished it and I've got a no entry sign on the op on the operating system even though terminal was still transferring the data file from the machine over uh, to the pen stick so I realized my mistake but I stopped recording after that um, but you basically the 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 command will finish um, and the pen stick will actually appear with the correct icon and then once it's done the pen stick is now uh, done you can then go away and use that to install uh, Sequoia on uh, any machine that can actually take the operating system I actually use the same Mac mini in, on the workbench and I just flattened that, that machine and installed it from there just to test that it would work with Sequoia as opposed to uh, the old OS of Sonoma I did notice when I booted the USB stick, and obviously when you erase an M, uh, when you rate, when you erase a silicon machine, um, it always prompts in a reboot, and then it obviously reboots into the recovery mode, and you've then it will identify the the last operating system that was installed on the machine, and mine was Sonoma, so I cancelled that, rebooted the machine, and I then booted from the memory stick and it then identified the uh, Sequoia operating system as the new installer so just bear that in mind that when you erase a, 
uh, a silicon based machine it does restart but it still has the recovery mode so it will always prompt you for the older operating system so you might have to restart again and just ask it to boot from the memory stick a second time so that's how we create a USB Sequoia build operating system very similar to to all the other operating systems really there's no real difference between the it's apart from the uh, terminal command just make sure you've got the correct naming conventions built into it when you run it in terminal hopefully that you found that helpful I'll, I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video and have a great day